ya. I'm G Loves Trains. I'm currently driving a canal boat, not even joking. I was looking for an experience where you could do a day hire on a boat and I came across this one on the Leeds Liverpool Canal which I just couldn't resist. Favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along and I just at Bolton waiting for a pair of free free ones to come in and take me up to Adlington. The Lancashire one of course. Yeah. I came to this station I was celebrating a momentous occasion since then I have been to Adlington a few times if I could stop the time don't you know that I would cause I just like it is about a 20 minute walk now to reach the canal at Charnock Heath where we will be getting on the boat So I've just been given a lesson by the lovely Lucian on how to steer the canal boat so far I've not crashed it but I am off now. Don't know which way we're actually going. I think it's towards Leeds. Yeah, we're going Leeds way. With you everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wait. I'm navigating Ruston through a bridge in Chorley, a very tree overgrown canal to Chorley at the moment. Yeah, there's an outcome. Bridge number 75 coming up and after this one I'm gonna look for a place to moor us up. Ruston, going to give you a little tour around the boat. Here we have an outside seating area. Two life jackets there. We have a sink and a kettle and... Is this... What is that? It's a kettle and a hob. I've never seen one of these in my life. But we have cutlery in the drawer. That's not a drawer. And pans. We can actually cook something. There's two soft benches. Some bits of information here and we have been left a welcome pack. We'll have a read through that. Further along we have the toilets. It may be a tight squeeze for some, but not for me. There's actually a light switch in here. And the flush is down beneath the toilet. Oh, the toilet's just been cleaned. It's got bleach all in it. <laughs> and at the back of the boat is the back of the boat, the stern, which is where you control the boat from gonna watch you don't bash your head up here and Lucian did also say that every so often every half an hour you have to have a look in the weed hatch to make sure nothing's caught in the propeller I think you can plug your phones into charge but you have to ask for some sort of an adapter thing to fit into there I hear a train! We must be close to the train line. So Ruston the Red Boat is a traditional style canal boat and when I was booking there were two other boats that I could have chose. So you have Merley's the blue one which is semi-traditional and then Crossley the green one which is another traditional one. Right, engine on. Accelerate. Right, we're back on the move, up to Bridge 80 is as far as we can go before we reach Johnson's Hillock Locks and then if you were to go that way from base you can go down to Bridge 60 just before the Wigan Top Lock. Oh my days, I think we should have stayed more up for a little bit longer, it's just started chucking it down. <laughs> The sun's back out now, I'm just going round what seems to be the tightest bend ever. I'll tell you what though, this is far easier to drive than a car. And I can't help but feeling, just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? 
the weather is very temperamental it's hood up hood down constantly but it doesn't even matter what the weather's like because i am having the time of my life right now Just come out from under bridge 78. Ah! I've seen bridges like 78A, but never 78AAA. -A -A. So we've hired the boat from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. and we're nearing the end of the section where we could go to now, so I am about to attempt a three point turn to get us back facing the direction we've come from. I feel like this is a good spot to do it. The canal does go really wide. There is a swan just swimming around there though, so I hope that moves out of the way for us, which I think it is doing. Do you know what? This bit is so wide that I don't even think we need to do a three point turn. I think we can literally just spin around. <laughs> and there we go. Literally didn't even need to go to reverse at all. Now that boat is huge and has to do a three point turn even there. absolutely hammering it down. We've just moored up again because I want something to eat, we need to check the weed hatch again and having eight hours on board here does mean that there's plenty of time to relax. Because I slightly cheated on the turn before, I am going to turn back around just to do a three point turn properly. Today, the speed limit on canals is four miles per hour and that is as fast as this boat can go. I've learned how to tie a rope using the LD method and interestingly the rules of going along a canal differ slightly from the road because when you've got a boat coming towards you in the opposite direction instead of overtaking on the left you overtake on the right. With you everything is complete this is such a pretty segment of the canal and it's really quiet as well like there's hardly anybody walking along it talking and walking along it i do want to walk the entire length of the least little canal one day this is honestly so peaceful i could do this all day every day it's starting to make me really want a canal boat of my own I'm currently alongside the train line, the Manchester to Preston via Chorley one that is. Just pausing here for a moment in hope that some sexy trains are gonna pass by. This moment, can we stay here? What are the chances? I say sexy trains and an over two goes past. Forever. Unfortunately, it's nearly time to hand Ruston over. Just pulling back in now. And there is such thing called the Boatyard Bus Cafe which is basically a cafe on a bus and I wouldn't mind coming back one day to go eat there. This is where I did my first three point turn with Lucy in this morning. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? That is an item off the bucket list. It does feel odd to be back on the ground now and it did feel great to be on the flowing water as opposed to just being next to it for a change. It did cost me £120 but it was an experience of a lifetime. A big thank you to Lucian who taught me how to ride a boat today. Thank you for watching. Fuzzy bye!